So, hi. <laughs> so, Polaroid Image System Creative Effects Filters. Um, in 2019, Polaroid Original, now Polaroid, decided to stop the, the Spectra Film production. So, now today, a lot of Spectra cameras are obsolete. But there are some, some um, quite valuable uh, filters or effects for the camera, which some of you might be able to use them with uh, the SX70 or the SLR680, uh, but not with the Polaroid 600, which is quite, uh, which it, it, it is um, quite disappointing because those are very good cameras. I have two boxes here and let's begin with the first box. The first box contains um, F101 until F105. So the first filter is, let's see, it creates, it, it creates double images, a mirrored images like so. Let's see if I can get them. Yeah, like a mirror image like so. If you can see my finger is mirrored and uh, which is a cool effect to be honest and then the next filter is well f 102 is create it creates a red area around um a subject let's say there's a hold here and the third effect is f03 creates star effects now the camera doesn't do the the phone camera doesn't do much but it is quite useful if you have um, some sort of light give me a minute that shines in front of the camera like so it is a very cool effect star effect I call it The next effect is the F04, F104, creates triple images. On a spectra film which is larger horizontally, this is a cool effect. But on a square Polaroid normal, um, this effect might not, um, might not um, translate it well on the format of the film. This is how it looked like a prism. Now the last effect of the box is the F105. It is a very weird one. Very interesting too. How should I call this effect? A diamond effect? Yeah, let's call it diamond effect. A cool effect. Um, if any of you guys um, do not know what to do with this effect, you can just keep them and when you take cool photos, um, you can use them all together. Now, this is an adapter where you stick in front of the lens of the camera, of the Polaroid Spectra. It has two slots, so all of these effects can be combined together. Let's try... Um, the F04, so the prism, I would put this one right in front because of the size and then I would add the red effect so you guys can see how these effects work in combination. You can also combine them with other effects like so. See, it creates this kind of red and a triple image it could be something very uh, trippy if you are a video creator so these effects in my opinion are, are very fun to use um, so let's continue with the second box <clears throat> this is the second box and it contains uh, effects from F let me see, F101 
107 until F uh, 111. Now, let's begin with the F 107. Let me get the lights, okay. The F-107 is a filter that makes things warmer, except the subject. It's a yellow filter, some might use this as the ND filter, but it is up to you. Focus, 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 focus. It doesn't want to focus, okay. Let's move on. F108. Ah, very nice. It creates this um, dizziness uh, feeling, the feeling of dizzy around uh, a subject. And yeah, very cool effect. I really wish these could be used with the Polaroid 600, the box type. If anyone um, is able to find um, an adapter or a 3D pin printed adapter, please comment below. F109 is just an ND filter, an actual ND filter. So this is uh, this goes on the lens, and this goes. I'm not sure if on the viewfinder or on the sensor, the light sensor of the camera. Yeah, doesn't do much. Yeah, just uh, filter all the blue lights more. There's a menu inside the box. I might read it um, later. This is uh, F110. What is it? Darkens in the filter. I don't know. I just got. I just got this box, so uh, it is my. It's the first time that I've opened it. Uh, what is this? I don't know what is this is. F111. Another adapter, I guess. And the last thing is... Yeah, an adapter for... Oh, yeah, wait, wait. This could be... A splitzer. You know, the, the Lomography splitzer. Or it, it covers one half of the image so you can do double exposure or something like that yeah this could be it let let me check the manual okay the manual yeah the polaroid manual oh yeah look how to put on the filters oh okay so yeah, like I said, the F11 is the double exposure filter filter or adapter. And this is some sort of indie filter for F10s. Is, to me, it reduces the reflection of the light. Cool effect. This just makes things warmer. Uh, yeah, time warp effect, I guess. It warms the surroundings. And yeah, this they, they they tell you how to use the double expo the, the, the double exposing um, technique. Yeah. Now, as we know, that all of these effects could be combined together. So let's try something interesting. Uh, let's try the swirly effect F one o eight with star effect this should be interesting the star effect from the first box this is f03 f103 put both together now doesn't do much right but let me turn on a torch it could be cool effect oh yeah cool effect or better another one f105 with again the f108 
yes look like it looks like a 1970s music videos yeah so these effects are quite fun to use and I would really enjoy them on for example the Polaroid SX70 because I saw a video where someone um, ordered a custom built adapter for to for for the camera for the Polaroid SLR or SX70 and this filter I used to experiment if you are someone ex who loves experiments buy one of these but yeah so this is the end of the video thanks for watching